The central theme of what we were planning to do was something we were going to call BBBS, the Badge Bulletin Board System. The dream of this was, in fact, pretty simple. Set up something where somebody could telnet or, if optionally, dial in to the badge, leave messages, post messages, and do a whole wide other variety of features. Because of the flexibility of the Bulletin Board System environment, it's now possible to communicate through it through a whole bunch of ways as long as you function like an old school BBS. Right. So the key is to utilize the, set, the serial output to do that work. So the model we came up with was going from anywhere, utilizing software, which I'll, we'll show you in a moment, called the BBS Server Bridge, and then connecting to the badge with the BBS, and then the badge itself would have a series of additional items. For instance, this peripheral, which is the, the SD card, would allow us to have one gigabyte of storage on it. Um, we had other additions like a speaker and so on that were going to come on later, but first we were working on the SD card prototype. So, features that we would have would be G files that you'd have on the SD card, so because you had a gig, you could do a whole bunch of things. Right. Um, again, read and post messages, which you would expect. A speaker attachment, we would do audio generation. You can't really do MP3 files, but the idea is that it would ring when somebody called it and make a hang-up noise. Um, using the flashing LED for all sorts of things, so when you type, it would blink a little bit. Um, if a person was writing, it would go red, and otherwise it was blue, so you'd know by glancing at it what was going on on the BBS at any given time. The users could also change the color of the LED. That way they could type in the values and change it because that was their big interface to affect it. Possibly the addition of a second serial for both multi and adding, but we weren't sure where, where that was going to go with that. X modem file transfer, we had the code for, but we weren't sure again we, you know, where it would go. And we had a temperature sensor because some BBSs had temperature sensors to be funny and let you know what was going on. So, unexpected problems. Main is, main, biggest problem we had was that the SD interface card, we got it all running, but when you have SDI interface uh, yeah. to talk to the SDI card right. So using a bunch of documentation against a whole bunch of other documentation, very tough. But we were we were getting to the point, you know, we, we definitely had the thing wired up to all the correct specs. Just a matter of working on the software, we were getting weird responses back. Again, we were working really carefully not to destroy the badge. I took my payment in speaker badges so we would have possibilities in case something broke, but we had to be very careful. The bootstrap white with that stupid define thing where it wasn't default set in the example code, that surprised us. Yeah, so we had to get that guy going. DEF CON kept pulling us away because, of course, all of our different stuff. Uh, Mark spent 10 plus hours over the weekend soldering fab, possibly more, but we think that's the definite. Bunch of bunch of marathon sessions to make sure everything worked a bit. And most surprisingly, we would keep killing the battery because we would, of course, be interfacing with it. Right. Right, exactly. So what works? Right now, the badge doesn't crash. We don't, the code is there. The LED can be changed, however, it only does it for a moment. We didn't keep it going. Um, it will, Ottawa Modem Answer will demonstrate this. It will answer a ring. It will provide a, uh, a menu. Uh, the content is ready to go in terms of, I had, a, like I said, that opening screen. We had a menu with shout outs and everything else. And the badge can continue to be worked on. We did not brick it and turn it into an unstable thing. Again, we were going to, this is where we were next running in the thing. We're going to finish the I.O., integrate content, read, write, audio out, reprogram the badge. We, we, we were looking into this to pre-program it into a modem. The designer suggested to us that it was a bad idea. He said that the implementation was such that it might not work as well okay. as expected, and they couldn't really fully do the specs, so we were stepped back from that. But okay. in theory, with experimentation, we might be able to get it to get rid of the modem part entirely.